Well, we're back again. Happy as clowns to be back again. That's nice. And what are we going to talk about today? Yeah, what we thought we were talking about today is uncertainty. And the reason we thought to talk about this is because, as we've mentioned before, you know, we've been helping people restore their health with whole foods for decades. And after a while, we began to notice that some people would have these great results, get off their meds, you know, get energy back, lose weight. And we'd see them six or 12 months later, and they'd put the weight back on and they were back on their meds or, or whatever, and, and they weren't looking so good. So we would ask, you know, what had happened. And inevitably, something had occurred in their lives. Um, something had happened in work, maybe they lost their job, uh, something was happening at home, maybe a divorce. And the pressure of life had created a lot of stress for them. And they had gone back to their old food habits using food, comfort foods, to try and feel better. Yeah, to have some relief. Yeah, looking for some relief from the pressure, which we all know is a short-term solution, but long-term, it, it's not so good. And so we were just reflecting, we were listening to a video yesterday that was along this, these lines and reflecting on how that relates to um, the situations that come up in our lives that we don't see coming, that suddenly seem so stressful and so difficult to deal with. And so there, there are a couple of things we want to talk about. The first being that whether we realize it or not, we're always living in the unknown. Yeah, that's for sure. We never know what's coming next. Ah, you know, I, I, the old question or analogy is, I, I mean, a meteor could fall in this house in the next minute. Probably not going to happen, but in a way, life is that unpredictable. But there is a rhythm to life, too. There is a pattern to life, and we pick up on that pattern, and we kind of adjust to it. And we go, okay, this is life, because most people want to believe and think there is some certainty in life that this pattern that i've picked up on is what my security comes from and then that pattern changes because life is always changing our kids grow up and move out of the house well we knew that was coming but it sure disrupted that pattern and and that can create a lot of stressful thinking and put us into a place of uncertainty because it's just something new to deal with and we've been thinking that what provided my certainty was this pattern of circumstances outside of me. Yeah, and we also think that what provides my certainty is I'm in control, that I really can control all of this diversity of magic that's happening every moment. Yeah, yeah, right. So um, basically, just what Connie's pointing at, Unless we realize the inside-out nature of life, what we've talked about in other uh, blogs, basically, unless we understand that my experience of what's happening, so something unknown happens, and I can have all kinds of different experience of that, because my experience of it is what I'm thinking about it. it it's occurring on the inside. My experience of an event happens on the inside. So as an example, um, yeah, my old thing about getting cut off in traffic, I used to always get angry if somebody cut me off in traffic. But if I reflect on it, I didn't always get angry. Sometimes I'd be in a good mood and somebody cut me off and I was like, oh, just back off, give them space, no problem. So it's not what happens to us, you know, getting cut off in traffic is usually one of these unknown, unexpected circumstances. And my experience of it, my reaction or non-reaction isn't related directly to what happened. It's related entirely to what I'm thinking about it. So unless we realize that my experience of life is inside out, not outside in, I can easily live in a, an illusion that my security comes from the future. From the outside. Security comes from what happens outside. Yeah. And since I don't know what the future is going to be, then, oh my gosh, it can be kind of scary. 
So when our when our future is unknown, we can feel insecure. And our future is always unknown. And the future is always <laughs> unknown. That's part of the magic of life, too. And so this power of thought that we talk about as the inside-out nature of life, when I tell myself, I know what's going to happen, I can relax. My mind will relax, even though it's an illusion. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But if I don't understand the inside-out nature of life, I will tell myself things like that to try and settle myself about the fact that I'm believing that life works outside in. That circumstances determine how I feel and the opposite is true. And the opposite they don't. is true. What yeah. determines how I feel is the thinking I have about the circumstance. Right. So we sometimes say that circumstances are neutral and our experience of it as to whether this is positive or negative is basically the way we view it, the glasses we're wearing, is the glass half full or half empty as I'm viewing this neutral circumstance. Being cut off in traffic is just being cut off in traffic. Most of the time I used to get upset. Sometimes I didn't, and most of the time now I don't. So the more we can realize that our mind, our human mind, has a built-in design for success. I think, well, maybe you were going to talk about that. I don't know if we've talked about that on the blog or not, but this is a phrase that Connie's been using lately. We have a built-in design for success. What What do you mean by that? Huh? Well, several things, but the most important one is when we get quiet in the mind, when we just relax and settle down, we have access to a very deep knowing that can give us success after success after success if we're willing to hear it and follow it. Now, how do we do that? It's called relax the thinking mind. And then we can more easily hear those inner feelings of nudging or that inner voice for some people that supports us to do the exact perfect thing in the next moment. And life gets so easy from there because I don't have to do anything in my thinking mind. All I have to do is follow these nudges. When the thought comes up again and again, I act. And I don't have to create this big, what would you call it, this Mm. big creation of yeah. how life should be and I'm going to do this and this and this to make sure it happens and it never does. We're putting, trying to get all our ducks in the row by saying, well, if this happens, I'll do that. If this happens, I'll do that. If this happens, I'll do that. And trying to yeah. get this game plan together yeah. to line up ducks so I can feel secure. When, if we understand that there's a design for success. And, and I think it's the same thing as we often refer to as uh, the universe has our back or life is living us. There's this design, there's this matrix, you might say, that is built from the intelligence that's running this entire universe. And we can trust that. I mean, I, I think you want to check it out for yourself, but I've been exploring this for a long time. And I haven't found an exception yet to where the perfection of what I see in nature, in the universe, the, the perfection of how the moon keeps orbiting the earth. I mean, like clockwork for how many millennia? It's like, how does that happen? What keeps all that happening? It's like there's this matrix, there's this intelligence, there's this design for success that keeps it happening. And that's true for the whole, all the planets in the solar system, the, the galaxies, uh, how many other solar systems. There's this intelligence that really has life unfolding pretty well. And that's what Khan is saying. We aren't just a part of nature. We are this intelligence. We are that nature. And we can access that. We have as humans access to that intelligence when our mind is settled. I'll give you an example. I have a client who, who doesn't like driving at night. 
and she's you know always afraid something's going to happen if I'm driving at night. And sure enough, a few months ago, she's driving at night. She hits a deer. Oh my gosh, this is my worst nightmare. But she didn't go there. She hit the deer, and of course, her heart started. You know, she started having all that response, fight or flight, that is normal. But she didn't explode or implode or or die. You know. <laughs> All of that thinking about, I don't like driving at night because something could happen. Now here's something happened. And what did she do? She got out of the car. She saw that, you know, what needed to be done. She did what she needed to do, got back in the car, drove home and took care of it. And she was fine. And she was fine. And so it's like when we believe life is outside in, then it's our circumstances that will be very difficult to deal with. But when we understand that life is inside out, that whatever happens, if I can be in the moment, and it doesn't mean like when Connie says, when our mind is settled, we can have a still mind in the midst of very great activity. I mean, the, you know, the elite athletes talk about being in the zone in the midst of the highest yeah. pressure of the game. Yeah. There's a stillness in the mind in the midst of all this that's going on. There was a stillness in her mind to deal with what needed to be done after she hit the deer. And it all came to her. She has proof that there is a design for success. And so what's what the reason we want to talk with you about this today is we want you to explore your life. Can you see that there is a design for success? that the universe has your back, that the future is always unknown. But what gives us certainty is this access to the intelligence that we are, this access to the intelligence that life is to deal with whatever unknown thing may come up. And that intelligence is always flowing through us and informing us our job is to listen. And when we're up here, thinking, 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 we don't hear it. We don't settle this thinking mind and relax enough to really connect with the intelligence that is always flowing through us, always informing us if we're willing to connect with it and listen. Yeah, so just bringing it back to our intention and in talking about this in our relationship with food is that the more we can understand this inside out nature of life, understand that we're always living in the unknown and that's not the problem. The problem is when we believe that I won't have access to what I need to know if something unknown happens. And we have proof time and time again in our lives, if we look back and are honest about it, that we've always had the thoughts, the solutions that we've needed to take the next step and the next step and the next step. And eventually it always works out. And we're more and more successful if we follow that deep inner guidance. We're not always successful if we follow our mental plan of how life must be for me to be happy. Usually we, we aren't. Yeah, well, I, I think what I hear and what you're saying there is that we can create a lot of unnecessary suffering if we don't believe we can just settle and find that solution. Because, of, you know, someone who hits a deer, they could just have a panic attack and just be running circles around their car doing nothing effective. But when I think about that scenario, if this person's running around the car instead of dealing with it, I'm guessing somebody would come along and stop and say, can I help? Yeah. It's like the universe always has our back. So we can either kind of directly access the solutions. And sometimes we may not see the solution, but what will come is maybe I should ask this person or that person. Because this idea that the universe has our back doesn't mean necessarily that I'm this, this lone island out here that has the resources I have to do everything I need to do. If I want to make more money in the stock market and I can't quite get it together, I can settle and get some good ideas about who can help me. Exactly. So um, 
it's all it's it's always a matter of really staying more and more connected with our true nature and understanding these principles that that life works inside out not outside in and there is a design for success in life and and we are that design we are designed with that inside and when we go to reach for food to try to feel better that is the little dharma bell ringing saying get quiet relax allow your mind to settle and then see if food is really your next or if there's something else that life is nudging you toward that would be a better solution yeah so if you have any questions about this i know this is quite abstract um we'd be happy to to have a chat with you just leave your uh comment in the comment section below and we will get in touch and have a conversation yeah now the recipe is divine it is what did you call it a mexican mexican corn griddle cakes griddle cakes yeah it's like a pancake only much heartier and delicious and simple to make and then it's served with a pico de gallo on top or you could just use salsa but we made a pico that was heaven with avocado in it so give it a go it's a wonderful savory meal for breakfast lunch or dinner yeah it's like a savory pancake yeah really good really liked it okay well thanks for joining us much love to all of you